Well, this is really one of those feel good stories. Back in August, the staff here at Rio Grande High School got that yearbook as well as a note from the woman who found it in her yard, and they quickly started looking through their records and speaking to staff to find out whose it was. The person who had dropped the yearbook off had flagged some names but they didn't have last names. A Rio Grande high school yearbook full of memories, but not many clues of its owner. As luck would have it, one of her teachers actually signed it to her full name. So once I saw her last name, I knew I had a match. It was just a matter of finding her. The yearbook belonged to Annalisa Brill, a graduate of the class of 2006. Nine years ago, her yearbook, along with all of her other belongings, were stolen from her home. I was heartbroken. I was was really upset about it. After giving up on finding the yearbook, one morning, Annalisa woke up to a Facebook message from the Rio Grande Activities Director, Leslie Jackson, saying she had the book. I was in shock, really. I didn't think I would ever get that one. And this yearbook wasn't just any yearbook. Nine years later to get my senior yearbook, and that one's, I think, more important than most of the other ones because, I mean, it's your senior year. <laughs> and after years of waiting and a little back and forth on Facebook, Annalisa went back to her old stomping grounds to get her senior yearbook. I went through this with fine tooth comb. <laughs> okay, okay. A moment, she says, still leaves her in awe. The craziest things can happen. I mean, there are good people. There are still really good people out there that that think in their, you know, in their minds that this could mean something to somebody. I'm, I'm just happy. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just really happy to have to at least have these back. Over the years, Annalisa was eventually reunited with those other yearbooks, but this one was really that special one that she didn't get until now. She said she wants to thank the woman who found it in her yard. Reporting live in Albuquerque, Marissa Armas, KOAT Action 7 News. Marissa, that is just the coolest story. Thank you so much. So the staff at Rio Grande High School say they've shared the story with many of their current students, and it's helped bring back a lot of Raven pride to the community.